Hello, I'm Robert Grant, and welcome to LearnMyShot.com. Today we're going to photograph fire in a very controlled situation using your digital SLR camera. So let's go to the set and begin. And here it is. A very simple set, a black card on a stool, I'm placing a piece of glass on top of the black card, which is where we'll put the fuel to create our fire. I want to make the background black so the flame shows up really well. So we're going to bring in a light stand and a foam core board so that the glass is reflecting black instead of white. We want to use manual focus to pre-select a point of focus. So use some sort of a card with type, put your camera on manual, and select your point of focus, and this is where we'll put our flames for our image. Now we need to turn off the room lights, because the only source of light in this image is the fire itself. We'll try the camera on Programmed, or P, so that the camera itself will make all the exposure adjustments. We're using a 17 to 85 millimeter zoom lens at the 85 millimeter end of the lens. And so now we add the fire. What we need to do is get a little lighter fluid and some matches. We got a match out here. Get ready, okay? We squirt a little lighter fluid onto the glass in a line. Light it up. We let the flames do the composition and we just click the shutter. You can see it stays pretty much in one spot. Don't use too much lighter fluid. About to burn out here. There. Let's go see our results. Well, here's one of the better images. I think it's a little overexposed and could be much more interesting. Let's readjust our camera. Let's look at what the camera had selected. A 50th of a second at 5.6 as an f-stop or aperture. We're on evaluative metering and we have chosen automatic white balance. The ISO of the camera is 100. So let's set the camera to M or manual and we will select the exposure ourselves. I'm going to just arbitrarily pick uh, 1 200th of a second at f16 and see what we get. Well this is much better. Now we can actually see the flames. and the intensity of the flame is controlling our exposure. Now let's go to ISO 200 on our camera, which increases its sensitivity by one stop. So we can then speed up the shutter to freeze the action a bit more. So we're going to go to an ISO of 200 and a shutter speed of 320. You can try different shutter speeds and apertures to get the result that you like. Now that we have our final exposure settings, let's take some pictures. Put some lighter fluid on there, get our matches out, light it up, and take some pictures. You can have a lot of fun doing this, but you have to be very careful. We're going to add a little more lighter fluid to the lower in the middle there. You can sort of make designs with it if you uh, really work at it a little bit, getting putting the fire where you want it to go. Come over here a little bit. There we go. That's nice. You can give it more dimension by having it come at the camera rather than just a horizontal line. We'll let it burn down now. We don't want it to get too hot on the glass. There we go. Let's take a look at our images. We hope you enjoyed this video on shooting fire with your digital SLR camera. 
but remember to always keep a fire extinguisher close by. And look for us again at LearnMyShot.com.